Hi, blogging world. Um, I usually do a children's book every Thursday, and a lot of times I just kind of give a general review about why I like the book and um, how I've used it, why it works for me. But today I thought I'd do something a little different because today's book is by one of my favorite children's books writers, and that is Kevin Hankey's. Sorry, I'm really bad at this like film stuff. I've never done this before, <laughs> um, so bear with me. But um, and the reason I decided to do my first vlog today about this book is that it's one of these one of those books that I don't feel like you can really understand why I like it until you actually see the pictures in it, because that's really the reason that I like the book so much. Um, the book's about hibernation, and there's a lot of books out there about hibernation, bears, winter, etc. But I think the illustrations in this book really set it apart, and um, so I thought that instead of telling you about the book today, I would actually read the book to you so you could see why I like it so much. So, I'm going over here, I think. Yes. <laughs> okay. Old Bear. By the time Old Bear fell asleep for the winter, it was snowing hard. Soon, he was dreaming. He dreamed that spring had come, and he was a cub again. Okay. <laughs> the flowers were as big as trees. He took a nap in a giant pink crocus. Sleeping on the flower. That's where I like to sleep. Then he dreamed that it was summer. The sun was a daisy, and the leaves were butterflies. Part of the sky clouded over, and it rained blueberries. Next, he dreamed of autumn. Everything was yellow and orange and brown, even the birds and the fish and the water. After that, he dreamed that winter was back. The world was covered in ice. It was night and the sky was blazing with stars of all colors. The cold went on forever. That's what we're like right now in Iowa. For all of you don't, don't live in the cold Midwest. Old Bear slept and dreamed and dreamed and slept. When he finally woke up, it seemed to him that no time had passed since he had fallen asleep. He yawned. He stretched. He poked his head out of his den to see if it was still snowing. He blinked and blinked again. And when Old Bear walked out into the beautiful spring day, it took him a minute to realize that he wasn't dreaming. So I really like that book, and I've used it with boys and girls. Um, a lot of times they'll be learning about hibernation and then they get really excited because they know about it and kids like to feel smart. But I enjoy the illustrations as an adult. I think that it is fantastic artwork. Um, so if you like that kind of thing, then um, that's an author that I really recommend to you, even if you don't have kids or aren't around them. Kevin Hankies has some really great books out. Um, and then before I leave you today, after reading Old Bear to You, which I hope you enjoyed. Um, I know that there's quite a few English majors and some history majors out there that are reading my blog. And I just want to invite all of you to email me or Twitter me um, anything that you would like to share about your experience as an English major, um, guest posts about like funny stories, otherwise just like your general like favorite things and least favorite things about being an English major. Um, you can send them to me and I can post them anonymously or I can link you to your blog or whatever you want me to link you to or I can just use your name. Um, if you want to email me, my email is EnglishMajor, major, not majors, EnglishMajorJunkFood at Yahoo.com and um, my Twitter account is at Ashbrux, so A-S-A-H-B-R-U-X, -S -S yes, I do know how to spell my name. <laughs> um, and um, Oh, and then also, if there, I think there's a few high school students out there, so if any of you high school students would like to email me with questions, um, I'd be happy to do a post on your question or just other English majors' ideas about the post I could do. Um, you know, I can tell you everything that I think, but honestly, I mean, it's a community, and I'd really like to hear feedback from other people who are experiencing the same hectic life that I am every day. Um, so with that, I think I will leave you. Happy reading, happy blogging, blog world, and I will see you tomorrow.